Hi, Glenn Phillips here with Lake Homes Realty and lakehomes.com. So you're thinking about selling your lake home, I want you to have a good transaction. And one thing I want you to do is, is I want to share with you what lake home buyers just don't care about. They just don't. But many sellers do, and it's to their detriment. It helps, it helps kill deals, it helps get you a price you didn't want. So let me share with you what's in the minds of buyers by talking about what they don't care about and that sellers do. First off, buyers don't care what the seller paid. You're the seller. Don't use phrases like, well, this is what we paid for it, or this is what we've got in it. I doubt you thought about that when you bought it. I doubt you went and said, I'm going to buy this, this lake home, and I need to be sure I'm paying them what they've got in it. No, you wanted the best price. Well, so do today's buyers. So uh, getting stuck on what you've got in it is irrelevant of the current market. Maybe you can make more money, maybe you don't. But the market changes, and the market will set your price that will sell. Now, you can set a price that doesn't sell, but they don't care what you paid for it or what you got in it. Number two, you know, you may be as a seller thinking about, look at, I set my price based on what all these other homes around me who are for sale are listed at. Well, keep in mind, what's listed for and what sells are two different things. What you need to be aware of, and the buyers are very aware of, is what are these homes selling for? In fact, if there are a lot of homes around you that are listed and been on the market in this hot market for several weeks or months, they're crazy overpriced. They're not selling either. They're not getting their price. Don't repeat their bad mistake. Number three, uh, don't get stuck on your personal effort on customization. We tend to overvalue things we worked on with our own hands or, or spent money that was hard earned. And buyers, again, the house is the house. And the fact that you put personal things into it gives you emotional value, but that generally doesn't translate into what you're going to get when you sell the home. In fact, there have been uh, TV shows that actually show as people buy and sell homes and the people selling it are very fixated on, on, oh, this patio had my blood, sweat, and tears. And the buyer's actually telling on camera, we're going to rip that out. It's actually going to cost us more money out of our pocket than if they hadn't done this change. So don't presume everybody's going to love your customization, no matter how much you love it. Number four, don't price your home about rumors of some outlier crazy price your neighbor got for their house. The buyers don't care about it, even if it was a true transaction. It's an outlier. It's like a lightning strike, a lottery win. Good for your neighbor if they got it. But it's also a rumor. And if you're in a situation where that can be disproven, you've priced on a thing that isn't even real. And if it is real, it's an oddity. Somebody was crazy enough to pay over market for a house. Your odds of finding another crazy person are not real high. In fact, many times crazy people want to pay less. So, uh, finding a rich, crazy person to buy your house is not a good business strategy to get the maximum price for your house. And my last tip about what buyers don't care about uh, is you taking a low offer personally. I see so many failed negotiations where the seller goes, I'm insulted by this low offer. I'm not even going to respond. I'll tell you what's insulting. No offers. Nobody made an offer on your house. That's insulting. At least somebody got a negotiation started. Don't be the one to end it because you got your feelings hurt. Counter it. Maybe it gets a no. Make them respond. But this is a business negotiation for an investment of sizable amount of money. It's not, I love my house and you need to love it too and you need to represent that with a big offer. So taking the personal piece out of it, turning a business transaction, all these things are things buyers don't care about. I see too many sellers get stuck on them and it hurts them getting the best value and a timely transaction. So keep them in mind as you price and go through the process of selling your lake home. Whether you're buying or selling, visit us at lakehomes.com. If you're selling, you can see more information about what the market's like right now, as well as find a lake expert agent who's the expert of marketing your home across the country. If you're buying, we have the tens of thousands of properties at lakes all across the country that you can find that dream lake home and come in with the things you don't care about and make a great deal to find your dream lake home. Hope this information's been helpful. Have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.